Hello and welcome to how to do radial line traces. So a radial line trace is the act of doing a line trace in a circle. So you go for a line out and then it goes round a certain amount of times before reaching the end. And this is useful for many reasons. Um, it's first of all very useful to find out what's immediately around you. So if you need to find out what item's closest to you or if there's an enemy behind you or like that, you can work this out by using a sort of radial line trace and this is all done via the normal line trace but using a rotate vector here mathematically to turn it around so let's create a very simple line trace actor here I'm going to create a new blueprint class and we'll call it line trace radial and in here we're going to set up the line trace to happen on the begin play so let's get rid of this stuff and on begin play here, I'm going to do a simple line trace. So the line trace, as I said, it's going to do, uh, replicate itself in a circle. So to do that, you need to actually do this multiple times. And we're going to handle that by using a for loop. So let's put a for loop in between there. For loops allow you to cycle through the contents of it in a, a loop uh, based on this number here, first index and last index. So zero, 0 means it'll just do it once. Um, but then we could put in any number we want into here. So if I put in like say 4. That's going to do it for now 5 times because 0 counts as an index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to promote this to a variable. And that would be the last index variable. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get the forward vector of this actor. I then want to rotate this vector and this rotation but rotate vector node sorry uh, simply just takes a directional vector and rotates it around based on an axis and we're going to rotate it around the z-axis here so I'm going to split the pin here I've got your on its own and then what I want to do is I want to take the index here and I want to multiply that by a float and that will go into the your now the float we're multiplying it by is going to be the size of the circle divided by the amount of indices we have. So what I'm going to do is take the last index here, add 1 to it, because we've got to account for that uh, 0 number, and then we're going to divide 360 by it. So we're going to do float divided by float, put the result into our multiplication there, the top one is going to be 360 that represents the circle and then we're going to multi divide it by this number here which gets converted to a float for us so now i've got a different rotational vector going along this and as the for loop increases so will the angle between each line i then want to do plug these into our start and end points here so start we're going to put in the actor's location that in so the end point is going to be the actor's location plus a vector and that vector is going to be this rotate vector multiplied by how far you want it to look so let's promote that to a variable and do distance and plug that in and i'm going to set the distance here to a default value of let's say 500 Okay, so it gives a radius of 500 for this circular shape we're about to do. The last index, we're going to give a default value of 9. So therefore, we get 10 divisions, 10 lines being drawn here. Now, to test this is working, I'm going to take the draw debug here and change it to persistent. Hit compile, and then put this into our world here. And hit play. Let me just raise it up a little bit so you can actually see it a bit clearer. And now you can see this line trace is now doing a full 360 degrees all evenly. Okay, so therefore you can easily check around it in that degrees. And if we want to be a bit more accurate, we just increase the number of the last indices here. So if I change this now to say 19, so I've got 20 lines coming out. We've now got a lot more higher detailed tests going on here. 
But there you go. If you like this how-to and to see more how-tos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and you can catch all my videos early from just $1 a month. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.